Welcome back to Boss Talk Radio, and I'm Celia joined with the lovely Danny from BET's hit reality show, Ink, Paper, Scissors. Um, if you missed a few minutes a while ago, I want to make sure you guys make, support her, follow her. Please hit her up any questions. She's a hairstylist here in Atlanta. She's great with everything. Please tell, give me your website again. It's hairbydanny.com, and every social handle is hairbydanny, D-A-N-N-I. And you got to schedule online. Yep. And don't miss the appointment. Yep. Deposit required. <laughs> Deposit required. You don't show, there's a no show fee. Yep. And do not come in here with no busted install from somebody else. Because she don't play in it. It's a lot of people doing it. And I respect that. Mm -hmm. That's like like the best thing that they, somebody ever could have started. <laughs> and then a lot of people don't like to book online. But they still text your phone. Do they do you like that? Yeah. Well, actually, um, I just started this like a week ago. Now, you think it's going to be hard transition some of your people that don't like change? No, I tell them, they're like, okay, I'm going to come in next week. I'm like, book online. People are like, really? Yes, really? See? I, w I started, um, I was selling a lot of stuff, like my hair. People that know me, they want to call and place an order for hair. I could be driving. I could be on air. I could be doing a whole bunch of stuff. And somebody calling to me, can I get two 16s and an 18? And, can I? and it's just like... You want to say, yes, hold on, let me write that down. But nine times out of ten, I'm going to write it down on something. I'm going to throw away. Or I'm going to forget. Or it's because, you know, you have a lot going on. It's just so simple. Just say, well, can you go into the website? I don't want to go on the website. Well, my clients aren't complicated. And then it's going to get to a point to where I'm not accessible anyway. So you, you're, you can't just text me. So I'll be getting my number changed pretty soon because my number is flaccid everywhere. And I already have people texting me hey this is such and such from snapchat can we go on a date no. oh yeah i hate it but see the thing about it is i have the same phone number since 1999 mm -hmm. and i was doing real estate for a long time before the show so therefore all my business mm -hmm. cards the internet it was so many properties that had my telephone linked to it advertisement so i thought about it like going public but your telephone number is blasted everywhere and you can't really take that Take that down. And if you're looking for a house and you go on the internet, you're going to see a picture with a telephone number. So I was like, I could change my number, but it, it was going to affect my business because that number has been just pushed so hard for 17 years. But then I had to be bothered trying to cycle through the, can we go out on a date? I like you. You single. Um, can I ask you a few questions? Or can I, like, can we sit down for lunch? And I'm like, strangers really think that we have time just to meet people for lunch just because mm -hmm. they say, hey, let's go to lunch. So it's just, I can understand what you're saying, and I was going to ask you how you were going to deal with that. Well, I actually have two phones. So yeah. um, when I get my own standalone, I'm going to need a phone anyway. So more than likely, it's going to be the shop phone. So please call it. Call as much as you want to because I'm not going to be there. Yeah, that's what I did. I got me, a, and I didn't even get the same area code. Mm -hmm. I got a totally different line, totally different number. And I know when that phone rings, mm -hmm. I'm picking it up. When the other phone rings, that's usually either old people or bullshit, mm -hmm. basically. Okay, that's great. Now, do you have any other businesses? Um, I have my hair distribution. Um, you know, sometimes I sell um, apparel, um, like hair by Nini t-shirts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a brand ambassador. Like, companies pay me to wear and advertise their clothes it could be candles shoes um hair so you know I, i'm i'm not a model it's just more so a brand ambassador like you know i just dress up their clothes and take pictures and advertise it right right now for is your apparel is it also available on your website yep everything here right all right and you said a hair distributor Mm -hmm. That mean, are you selling here, or are you just right. distributing to people that's wholesaling, that's selling it, or? No, I'm not doing wholesale. Um, I'm not the plug. <laughs> but, but people you can. You can't run off on her. No, no, nobody will ever run off. But yeah, um, just, you know, if you just want to get your hair done, a few bundles, you know, that's available on my website. That's good. You sell all types? You know I'm into hair, so you sell all types? Right now, I just have uh, Body Wave. I call it Danny Wave. I really don't get into whether it is... Indian, Peruvian, Brazilian, because a lot of people will say like, oh, I didn't have Brazilian hair and I don't like it. Every hair isn't the same and all hair isn't what people say it is. So I want you to give my hair a fair chance to see if you like it, if it's for you. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 look, she kind of got me quiet over here now. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and eventually I do want to get into cosmetics and um, maybe like um, some edge control. I mean, I know it's kind of cliche, but these are some things that's very important to me mm -hmm. because, you know, I use edge control. Some stuff might be too shiny, too cakey and stuff like that. So I'm like, well, let me come up with my own that works for me and test it out and you know like uh, i'm known for my eyes like a lot of people like my eyelashes and stuff like that so i think that would be a really good market and um also when it comes to lipsticks as well so you know i'm just now starting off so eventually those are the business ventures that i am going to branch off into that's wonderful mm -hmm. i love to hear a woman with a plan yeah. And the fact that it all falls in beauty, I think it'll work. Mm -hmm. You know, some people go pull something way over here, then they go, and they're like, they don't quite go together. So by being in beauty, and it started with hair, and then you went into makeup and fashion and style, mm -hmm. I think that all fits you. Yeah, and I think that, that was, that's what differentiates me from other people, because this is actually my field, and this is something that I've been doing for a very long time and I didn't build up the rapport with my followers so they've learned to trust me and I'm the face of my own company so it's like once they see me with it it's like okay yeah that's how I'm supposed to look so let me try it and eventually I do want to get into styling clothes like because I, I see a lot of I, I go a long time without buying clothes because it's like uh that's basic uh that's average uh so I'm the same I hate shopping mm -hmm. So, I don't like going in the store. Yes, I hate shopping. <laughs> I don't like going in the store. I can do personal shopping too. You do? Okay. I sure will. It's that after about 20 minutes, anxiety kick in. Mm -hmm. And then I went into um, a store in Lennox. I ain't going to say no name. And when you walk in the store, it's just so much. And you just be so overwhelmed till you be like, um, where do I start now? Where is this? Oh, I don't do that. I have to see it walking by. And if it doesn't catch me, I'm not looking through racks. That, that, that hanger. That person that do the hangers like this. I'm not doing that. I can't do that. Mm -mm. Now, I know I got to stop. You go in and you see someone on the mannequin. You be like, oh, that's mm -hmm. kind of cute. They got together. Just give me everything they got. Mm -hmm. But then you want to do that because then that's what everybody else is going to be looking. And then you're going to have 30 pieces at this. I don't have that problem. Time. Probably because when I buy something, it might take me a year to wear it. <laughs> I don't wear it right away. Like, <laughs> I'm not the type of person when I buy something, I have to wear it like, oh, it's my new outfit. Like, everything is thoroughly thought out. You see, I'm that person. I don't go shopping until I need it for something that's the next day. Mm -hmm. No. See, like somebody say, now you know you're going to have somewhere to be. Why you just don't go and just buy pieces to just have? Sometimes. Nataki. Sometimes I dream always about. Always tell me that. I don't I dream never. About what I you dream? Mm -hmm. I dream about who I want to be because I say Ooh. who I want to be because it's like, <laughs> I'm a Virgo. You know, I'm a Virgo. August 28th. September 1st. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just like I be trying to dress my personality to figure out who I want to be. So I be thinking about it. But then I get mad because I get in my mind who I want to be. And then I go and try and find it and I can't. See, like with me, it's more so do I want to do rock? Do I want to do 60s? Do I want to do 80s? I just say who I want to be. Do I want to do, you know, hip hop? You know, do I want to do some jogging pants with some heels? You know, do I feel like being comfortable today? Do I feel like beating my face? Like today was real light, like, you know. Yeah, I had to beat my own face. Yeah, I was very upset about that. Mm -hmm. Do I feel like putting my contacts on because these are prescription glasses? These are real. I'm blind. But you're cute with glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Don't say you're blind. <laughs> yeah, I wear braces too, so I'm low key a geek. You got braces? No, you don't. I'm wearing Invisalign. What? what? No, I don't know. you working with her? Don't even know. Lord have mercy. Yeah, you not even know. Look, for all y'all out there, just. Gargamels, mm -hmm. that Invisalign is the truth. It I would have never known that. Still got the cement LMT. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can't get I'll a right here. You know what? Um, <laughs> I can He said what? I didn't know that. Invisalign get my nerves, so I just put me when I want my teeth to be straight. <laughs> but they not straight. Yeah, they yeah, have I to say, you don't, I, That's why I say you got them on now because mm -hmm. your teeth is straight as all I do. I, I love. I'm bashful, so I barely smile. You got a pretty smile. Wait, you smile like my daughter. Like that. She's a cancer. Because I'm bad. She's a cancer. Me too. Yeah, my daughter's a cancer, so she just. Very sensitive. Yeah. Me. I'm like, girl, you better show them chops. When's her birthday? July 16th. She's emotional. Huh? I miss. Yeah. Yeah. So, how many kids? I heard you mentioned kids a while ago. Mm -hmm. So, how many kids do you have? I have two. One is 14, one about to be nine. We got, I have a 15 and a 7. Mm hmm. 
Like, that's yeah. about the same. My oldest actually still lives in St. Louis with her father, and my youngest lives here with me. Now, how do you manage being this business mogul, you know, hair salon owner and a mother? I always have a kind. Of it's a sacrifice because it was it was hard, you know, trying to build up to where I'm at. When I was in school and stuff, I didn't have um, a financial flow. You know, mm -hmm. I had um, I had credit cards and I had savings and stuff. So it's like I was just trying to figure it out, like ways to enhance my craft, um, branding and marketing, and you know, like my main objective. Okay, what I did was when I was in college high school, I took my indoor patio and turned it into a mini salon. So I wanted to build up my clientele. So by the time I got to school, I could just jump into a chair. Smart. Yeah. That's a plan. That's a plan. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do commission. Like you, you didn't do this, so you're not gonna get a percentage of it. <laughs> Very smart. Very yeah. smart. Now, how did your kids feel about you being on the show? Um, my youngest, she just worried about being a star. <laughs> Come on, honey. Yeah, she go to school. And my mom is here right nanny. We're gonna be famous. We're gonna be traveling right. everywhere. <laughs> she, she's on BET. And um, she don't really say too much about the show. She just be like, why Coco hating on you so much? <laughs> that shade is so real. Mm -hmm. But other than that. A child can see the shade, then it's some serious shade. Yeah, but other than that, that's, that's basically it. And your oldest, how do you feel? Um, she hasn't really said too much about it. I don't think she watched it, to be honest. We don't really discuss it. Really? You know, yeah, like, some things I talk about and some things I don't. Right, right, you right. know, like sometimes you know when I'm talking to people, I don't even think about. I don't even when I okay when I meet people, I don't say I'm a hairstylist. I never tell people unless they ask. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really go off into things that I have going on. Like it really takes for somebody else around me to tell somebody else. I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. Like I people like you so humble. You don't tell people what you do, and it's just be like if somebody asks me for something or asks for some help in what I do, I do. But my girlfriend Whitney would be like, she lying, she do A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. and she this and she that. And if you, like, she was just, I'm like, okay, just tell everything. I mean, I guess I don't try to sell myself. You yeah, know, I'm the just, same way. I use my social platform. I think that's very good. <laughs> but we're good at what we do. Yeah. And we not, I know I'm not the friendliest at times. Mm -hmm. Just coming into a room, I kind of like to come and I sit and you kind of observe. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of, but once I'm done with that, then that mm -hmm. room belongs to me. Yeah, that's me. I'm I'm quiet, unless it's my own territory. Then I work the room. But if it's somewhere I never been, it's like my appearance versus my personality. Sometimes it's an imbalance. You know, it really because I I have like this natural calmness, and I just be chilling. But once I start drinking and stuff, like I'm all over the place. Oh, especially like with me and Silas. <laughs> me and Silas, we 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 work. Honey, I would need a drink with that one right there. Mm -hmm. I I watched episode two. Come have a drink with us tonight. We might be watching it at Blue Flames tonight. Well, I don't have nothing to do tonight. I'm gonna come. I don't have nothing. Not, nothing to do tonight. Right, right, let me check my phone. So my question is, how do you manage your mental health? Because I know that you have a lot of clients. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. How has you being on the show affected your actually clientele? You know, are you happy with? Oh, you know, some people just gonna come see you because they see you on TV, and then you ain't gonna never see them again. Then they just wanna say, "Oh, I ain't got my head, now my head right in." Right. So, have you seen loyal to loyal clients, or have you just been getting a bunch of randoms? Um, kind of both. You know, um, you know, a lot of people I give to myself because I might already be booked for the right. day. Um, so now for future bookings, I just redirect everybody to my website. So I don't check, I don't check it until that day comes. Right. Have you had some, some clients leave because they didn't like you on the show? No, everybody loves me. Like people see how I am on Snapchat. Like Snapchat gets the raw uncut me and, and I curse a lot. Like so much, yeah. I curse probably like three cursing words and and I'm real animated and I'm all over the place. I give relationship advice, business advice, and all mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm me. People get all of me on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Instagram, I kind of keep it professional. You know? I'm the same way. Instagram. I'm not sure if they read. Instagram memories. I may give them a little more because I have way more people on Instagram than Snapchat. 
So Snapchat, I'm going to give you the I don't care because mm -hmm. it's going to be gone anyway in 24 hours and then I don't have that many people on there. Mm -hmm. um, and Instagram memories, a lot of people don't really go up and watch them. Mm -hmm. So with the pictures and what I post, that's there. So yeah. it's just like, mm, I'm very selective what I put on them, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't want to see too much of the turn up because you have to protect your brand. You have to make sure you stay in profession on your Instagram. Well, the reason why, um, well, I'm trying to coincide my Snapchat with my Instagram because they love me so much more since they're able to see me because it's like, okay, we see the business you book. Who are you? And what do you got going on? So since I give out so much advice and do more tutorials and stuff on Snapchat, like they live for it. And my Snapchat has has gone up like just within the last few hours. It's like I have 107 messages from Snapchat. Like it, it's, it's crazy. But that's good. I'm glad to hear you said it because my one thing that I dislike is that I gave all business. Mm -hmm. So nobody never really got to see my personality. They was like, you put your business and your self on that right pedestal for it being that boss, but I didn't give them more personal me because mm -hmm. I said I wasn't concerned with giving them personal me at this point because the purpose of me doing this was because of business. Well, and it gives then, them versatility. It gives them versatility. They get to see entertainment. They get to see um, advice on being a mother, mm -hmm. relationship advice and stuff. And so many people can relate to me because I didn't been through everything that everybody could imagine the things that they've been through like i'm 32 years old and i've been married before and oh wow yeah like i i have so many stories to tell and and i tell everything that i've been through whether if it's not you know my mother not being a mother to me you know or you know i was in abuse of marriage and you know stuff okay, like so that. i need a book <laughs> yeah of course come on book mm -hmm. so we can we make that happen i'm giving you a year mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah i mean and season i season two yeah. yeah, and I, yeah. I elaborated on, on it more. On each she think I'm playing. I'm able to say, what's up with that book? Yeah, that's like, what's why up with that book? I, yeah, that's why I want to do women conferences and stuff like that because I do have a story to tell. You know, I'm more than just beauty and right. the cosmetology world. Yeah, it's, it's a whole lot. You know, I'll be here all day, you know, telling my story. But that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm curious now. So she got my, my wheels spinning over here. And, and I'm single. <laughs> that was my next question. I'm single. Um, they want to know if you're single. And I'm not dating. Now, let's just talk about that. Mm -hmm. Do you date in Atlanta? No. Absolutely I not. Because 2016, 17, like humanity isn't humanity anymore. There's no type of unity. And... Mm -hmm. What men don't respect women and women don't respect themselves and when you look at me you might think I'm the typical female that you then came across based upon my appearance and a lot of men don't respect me and a lot of men are intimidated because I am a dominant woman mm -hmm. and and I'm not the type of person I'm not going to let a bystander come in and, and run a throne like you have to be a king to run this and I respect a man if you're a man but if you don't even have your own situations together, like why, why do you think you're going to be my leader? You can't even lead your own congregation. Right. I feel that way. Um, it's hard dating Atlanta for me because mm -hmm. it's like I date outside of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I was big on important, like going out because people here are just you don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. They don't even know who they are. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just hard to find somebody to get it. Like, they was always trying to either be somebody else or they was trying to see who you are, what you got going on. They never show any initiative. Mm -hmm. Men here do not show initiative they because they don't care. And the thing about it is, this is what, 20, 21 and 1? And they want you to prove everything to them. I'm like, how you approach right. me? Right, and mm -hmm. I'm from Mississippi, so I'm used to courting. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't even say that word no more. And they're selfish. Yeah, they and they're stingy, very selfish. Stingy, stingy and selfish. That's why I would never date a man that has less than me because I did it too many times and mm -hmm. and those tend to be the ones that do you the worst. Like how am I trying to invest in you and into your career and uplift and inspire you and you can't give me that same in return. So from you know this day moving forward, like I can't do that anymore. Yeah, it's hard and it's it's crazy because there's so many beautiful, independent mm -hmm. black women in Atlanta that's single. Mm -hmm. So you came in just in time. Yes, when you talk about relationship with me. Oh. 
<laughs> so I always ask so many different people, what's your take on dating Atlanta? And they say the same. Men just... I mean, I do want to get married. You know, I want to have a family. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be a baby mommy anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a long process before we do that again. Do you want kids? More kids? I want a boy, but if if we're not going to be a family, no. Yeah, I feel the same way. And he has to prove that, and that ring size does make a difference. How many carrots you want? Because somebody asked me that. I got some pictures. Yeah, somebody asked me that. How many carrots yeah. do you need? I yeah, I show people, I'm like, this is what I want. So if you feel like I deserve this, then you're going to get it. If you give me something less than this, then we're not compatible. <laughs> See, I thought I because I, I work for my ring. I earn it. So, you mean, you know, I, I didn't did all this, you know, sucking and all whatever, whatever. And I keep this house clean. I do what I'm supposed to. So, give me my ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said that. Yeah. I can't wait to see these pictures. <laughs> Baby, you might be in trouble. <laughs> she going to show me the pictures. We're going we gonna to forward them. Somebody just asked me that. They was like. You know, they feel like they had to step their game up, which I like that he said, you know, he felt like he had to step his game up. He gets nervous with everything, you know, he want to make sure he's dressed right and make sure. So it, it feels good because you get that little nervous feeling in yourself when, you know, when you meet somebody and it's all good. But they want to make sure that they um, boost themselves up because they feel like you're going you can to boost them. You know what I'm saying? And then it's the same way. He makes me want to step my game up. So it's kind of like you motivate each other. And yeah, I know I do that. I'm yeah. very inspirational and uplifting. Like, I go above and beyond when it comes to my relationship. Virgos, we love hard, but when we done, we done. Yeah, that's it. We love hard, we take when care. When you break my trust, that is it. But we very spoil. And we oh, yeah, we and I spoil my man. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> well, say your social media again one more time. I'm Danny, known as Hair by Danny. Of ink paper scissors, I'm the queen, and that's another thing I do kind of want to elaborate on. When I say that I'm a queen, I'm not just the queen of Salon Ramsey. Like you're a queen, everybody should perceive themselves of uh, queens, and mm -hmm. everybody should be kings, and and everybody needs to start acting like it. But I'm here by Danny, <laughs> ink paper <laughs> scissors, right every B on BET every Tuesday at ten nine o'clock. Please tune in to the show. I watched the first two episodes. I'm so loving the show. BT, you did your thing with this one. Um, follow on social media. Support everything she's doing. She's going to be keeping you informed of all of the things that she has coming out. And you can follow me on social media. All of my social media is at MissAlanaBanks.com. And this interview will be available on YouTube at YouTube.com, Boss Talk Radio. But thank you so much for coming. Thanks for inviting me. I know, me. I know. We're going to see you next week. We're going to go ahead and check out. Have a good one.